Welcome to 29th of April's Godly Blessing. Now there's something known as a physical weight and now there's something known as a spiritual weight. Now this is about the mind and that is about the body. So here we're going to experience and understand the beautiful blessing about what God tries to say when you do a spiritual exercise and you reduce the weight on your mind. So God here says, may you finish all weight by doing spiritual exercise and become equal and close to the greater. So God says spiritual exercise means to be incorporeal one minute. That means thinking thoughts beyond the body, beyond the physical things. And that can only happen when you know where to take your thoughts beyond the physical world. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. So God says in one minute to be an avyakt angel. Avyakt means physical, avyakt means non-physical. That means in your aura body. The next minute to be a corporeal karma yogi the next minute. That means you incorporate the three worlds. Incorporate world, the non-physical red, gold and light world beyond the universe. And then below that is the angelic world of white band. And then there is this physical five elemental world. So God is talking about traveling in these three worlds. Do this exercise daily and your burden of waste will finish. That means you'll have thoughts which are more powerful, more lighter than these physical thoughts of this world only. And that's what all the people in the world are facing today. They 99% have thoughts about this physical world and they're not able to take it beyond this physical world. And that's where the waste thoughts. Waste thoughts is what will happen? How will it happen? What will I do? What will my parents do? What will my kids do? What will my family do? And the God says, those are all waste thoughts. So when that weight is finished, you can then become double light like the beloved these double light 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 in the mind and the partnership will then be suitable because if he's lighter and we are not lighter then there's no partnership there's no same frequency if the beloved is light but the lover is heavy in crew and saib he's known as the beloved and we are his lovers so if the beloved is light god and we the lovers are heavy the partnership would not be suitable will it be so both of them they are physically fit it's better right the spiritual beloved is telling the lovers to become equal and close that's what his request to us is it's not a force but a request for us to be in connection with him and to go into liberation we have to become lighter like him and only then go back up so this exercise, spiritual exercise, which we learn in Brahma Kumaris, is all about traveling in these three worlds and becoming lighter from time to time. You can learn this beautiful transcendental meditation or out-of-body experience meditation or you can say astral travel meditation or in simple terms Raja Yoga meditation. Soul to Supreme Soul Connection at Brahma Kumari Center nearby you. Om Shanti with this.